Hi, everyone. Welcome to September of 2024. I know. How did we get here? Holy cowabunga. This year has just simultaneously flown by and taken forever. I don't know how to work with that. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Anyway, September. Wow. Okay. So in the English language, September kicks off the burr months, September, October, November, December. And where I live, November and December really are like burr kind of months. <laughs> it gets cold. Um, so September, we have so much to talk about, but I'm going to try to make it as bite-sized pieces as I can. So we start the month, now we're in Virgo season, and September is split um, by Virgo because the sun usually changes signs each month around the 20th, 22nd, somewhere in there. So we spend about two thirds of the month in one sign, and then we hit another sign the other third of the month. So we're in Virgo season now, and then later in the month, um, I'm not sure of the exact date, like I said, it's around the 20th, we move into Libra. So with September beginning in Virgo season, we have a new moon in Virgo because new moons are always in the same sun sign that we're in. So the second or third, depending on where you live in the world, we'll have a new moon in Virgo. And new moons are awesome for um, start, starting a new chapter. It's like a blank slate. So we're starting the month with a blank slate. And I love that journey for us. We're going to take a look um, a little bit here in this reading. I don't want it to go on too long, but I will do a separate reading specifically for the new moon and then one specifically for the full moon during the month. So stay tuned for those. The full moon, speaking of, is a super full moon eclipse in Pisces. <laughs> so everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> Here's why. The full moon will always take place in the opposite sign of the sun sign that we're in. So 12 zodiac signs, each one has an opposite sign. And um, the opposite of Virgo is Pisces. So earth and water are always opposite. Fire and air are always opposite. So with this energy, super full moon, full moons are, we're already crazy at the full moon. So the super full moon and it being an eclipse, Cowabunga. So we'll do its own dedicated reading because it deserves that um, later. But for now, we'll see what comes out during the reading. But for now, just note that'll happen around the 17th or 18th of September, again, depending on where you live in the world. So this month, um, especially the first 20 days-ish of the month, we're in Virgo season. So Virgo's an earth sign, awesome to get rid of any um, clutter or anything that's not working because Virgos, I love you, you know I do. Virgos are perfectionistic. So paying attention to those details and tweaking, making little tweaks. You don't have to make big, big changes, but like just little quarter turns. And it's like, oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, so detoxing, releasing the past. Um, it's a good time to physically declutter your life. So physically getting rid of stuff that doesn't serve you, rehoming it, or if it's broken, throw it away. If it can't be fixed, throw it away. Um, or repurpose it, upcycle it, whatever applies. The new moon in Virgo, because we're kicking off the month with it, um, really, there's a couple ways you could you could look at this. On one hand, um, there's a lot of Saturn and Pluto energy going on right now because they're making some moves this month. I'm not an astrologer and I don't play one on TV. So <laughs> feel free to find your favorite astrologer and find out what that means. Um, just know that Pluto is death rebirth. It's Scorpio, it rules Scorpio. So death and rebirth energy, the death card in tarot. Um, awesome energy, it's the Phoenix. It's pretty cool, it's great to work with. So getting rid of what doesn't work to make room for what does. That's great for this new moon. Um, 
And Saturn is a planet that is the ultimate taskmaster. It rules Capricorn. Capricorns, I love you, I do. But if um, there's anything that Saturn does well, it's hold us accountable and makes us learn lessons. And we're just going to repeat those lessons <laughs> until we learn them. So work with that energy. Um, so even if you're making your new moon wishes, manifestations, etc., cetera, um, and Saturn's holding you back, like, mm, are you sure you're ready for that? Did you learn everything? Really check on that. Okay. So it's a great time. Don't think that it's not a great time. Like, oh, what's the point then if Saturn's just going to be here hammering away? Saturn's a teacher. It just wants us to learn so that we can move forward and that we can fully embrace the good stuff that's coming in. So with this new moon, again, I'm not going to go into it too much, but we'll touch on it a little bit um, since we are kicking off the month with it. You can um, make a plan. <laughs> and I say that with a grain of salt um, because Virgo I, I love you. Virgos are fabulous. They're earth signs. They're really great at making a plan and they really want to stick to it. But if it's not perfect, then they might not implement the plan until they're absolutely sure. So don't be afraid to take some risks. Just kind of let that energy simmer a little bit. And, um, you know, don't let it, don't let it bring you down. Still get into your new moon manifesting, do your thing all the great stuff and using that full moon energy will be awesome to let go of any limiting belief systems that are like, Oh, what's the point? Or, um, it's, if it's not perfect, it's never going to work. I'm not going to do it. Or I thought I had the perfect plan and something went haywire. So insert negative thoughts here, clear, cancel, delete, let it go under the full moon. Um, it'll be a great time to evaluate what's working and what's not. And just to make that little tweak, because then we're going to hit Libra season and you'll be fine. So, <laughs> you know, make your plan. I know man plans, God laughs, right? But not necessarily. It's more like you make a plan and nobody ever says that old adage when stuff works. It's only when things don't work. And that's really getting into victim mentality. So let that go. Make your plan, adjust the sales if you need to. It's cool. So um, that's, that's a good way to use these two moon energies in Virgo and Pisces, because again, remember they're opposite signs to your advantage. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at overall energy for the month for you. And I'm also going to pull specific cards around career, love, um, and whatever else might come out. Definitely healing because high willow tree healing. It's what we do here. <laughs> so where's your opportunity for healing? Um, I've got some new decks that I'm really excited to play with. So yay. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let's get started. All right, Virgo. Since this is your month, here we go. Let's see what the overall energy is. Please remember this is a general reading. So if you want your own specific reading, all of my info is in the description box below, as well as whichever of these beautiful decks I'll be using today. <laughs> I'm an intuitive reader, uh, if you're new to my style. Um, so that just means I read intuitively. Um, I like to see what happens. I like to shuffle on camera. Woo, the lovers. All right, then. Gemini energy. Five of Pentacles in reverse. That's a good thing. I usually say it's not good or bad. It just is. Um, but there are certain cards that I don't mind seeing in reverse, and that's one of them. So with the lovers crowning the reading, you could surely be... Um, dealing with a love situation. So we'll definitely look into that here. Um, but in a little bit, it's also partnerships 
Um, yeah, it's major arcana, so they could be major partnerships, could be business too. The Lovers was originally called the Choice in our OG Tarot uh, when it was first invented hundreds of years ago. So the Lovers was called the Choice. So that's why it's also Gemini. Head, heart, they don't always agree. <laughs> and it could even be, if it's not a romantic relationship, it could even be you're just struggling um, between your head and your heart. So Virgo, always follow your heart. Yeah, take your brain with you, but follow your heart. Do what you love. Do what you feel is right for you. I got this in my morning meditation today. It is um, not in front of me, so hold on. <laughs> it said, um, any problem can be solved with love. Just bring in more love to the situation. Any problem that you're having, what should I do? Why are, aren't we getting along? Even, yeah, in work with coworkers, bring love into the situation. I'm not advocating for workplace romance. I mean, you do you, but whatever. What I'm saying is bringing love to the situation, understanding um, everything is either love or fear. That's it. Everything is either love or fear. So if you're not getting along with your neighbor, your coworker, your housemate, your partner, family, whatever, bring more love into the situation. Love is always the answer. Okay. See through the eyes of love. Most of the time people have good intentions and they're not actively trying to hurt you. It just comes across that way. <laughs> and what they do, it's a perception. So their actions, you are perceiving their actions as hurtful. And yeah, there's somebody out there who's saying, no, they actively are trying to sabotage me or they are very much hurting me, maybe physically. I'm sorry if that's, ooh, let me kick the tripod here. I'm sorry if that's your story. Um, lots of ways to um, come out of that, but we won't go into that in this reading. You can contact me directly. But it's because they don't love themselves. They're afraid. Of what? Not sure. That's on. That's a them problem. <laughs> but your response can be with love. Self-love, that counts too. Ooh, two of wands. So somebody's got a decision to make. Sitting on your hands, though, at the moment. And the high priestess in reverse. You know what to do. You're just not listening to your intuition. Reversals can show us where blocks are as well. Um, so with the five of pentacles, you're getting yourself out of this mentality, this situation, something. And if this isn't resonating for you, either keep watching because <laughs> it might here in a minute. There's some message here or feel free to watch your other placements always. And I'd like to advocate for that um, sun, moon rising and Venus because it puts together a, a good piece of the puzzle in North Node or whatever other placements you want to watch. If you're cross watching, which means someone that you are involved with or interested in being involved with is a Virgo that works too. Okay. Okay. Great. So <laughs> now that we've got that out of the way, it's time to get yourself out of a negative situation by loving yourself. Yep. King of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you're afraid that you're not ready for that. Um, or that you'll be, you will be left out in the cold. Um, that you won't have the resources, or if it is leaving a job or leaving a marriage or some other situation, leaving the nest, um, it, it, you could feel like you're not quite ready for that, especially financially, or you're not mature enough. You don't have all the resources that you need to make that move, but you, you're itchy. <laughs> you feel like I, something's got to give. So either shift your mindset and give yourself more time to turn this king around, or Take a leap of faith and just trust the universe that it will always catch you. It will always catch you. Universe always has your back. Universe loves us and wants us to thrive. So there you go. Take it for what it's worth. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab the sacred traveler because it does seem like uh, there's some movement needed. So let's see. Okay. Oh, miracles. Miracles. That's beautiful. Express. Mm. 
Mercury is still in shadow. So <laughs> expect the Wanderers to emerge and crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Yep. So there you go. Pretty much. I love when spirit confirms what's already been channeled through. Expect miracles. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. I just know that it's got to work because I got a bridge that I got across. And it's up to you if you want to burn that bridge <laughs> or not. Um, if you do, The beautiful thing is if you destroy a bridge, you don't have to rebuild it or it can be rebuilt later. Should you choose. So there you go. If um, you're in a situation where someone is is harming you, harming, harming you. Please know that there's always a way out. Somebody really needs to hear that. Okay. So soul work. I have these beautiful cards here that are um, basically little prompts. I'm so sorry. I can't get my lighting right today. I don't know what's going on. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you. This one. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Yay, nay. The people with who we surround ourselves determines who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? If the answer is no, let them go. Today's soul action. So this is like a journal prompt or meditation prompt. Make a desire list of the type of people with who you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there's anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Crossing bridges. So if someone isn't lifting you up, if they're suppressing you, it's time to move forward. And when there's soul growth that's happening, you can't, some people can't come with you. And that's okay. Might be hard, but it's okay. Here's why. You can absolutely move forward with your own life, doing your own thing, living for your soul, because that's what we're here to do. We're not here to live for other people. We are here to live for ourselves, to learn our lessons, to do our thing. And there are people who can be in the boat with us, but the second that they want to go in a different direction, they need to take another boat. That's okay. It's okay. Yes, it might hurt. It might not be fun. It might not be fair, but it needs to happen. So let me grab the spell casting deck. How can you make that happen? Woo. That was fast. <laughs> Prosperity fell out right on top of miracles. So it is a mindset shift for you here with this King of Pentacles in reverse. It's just a mindset shift. Either I need to tolerate this job a little bit longer until something else is lined up. Um, maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that there's a promotion or something, or somebody's getting ready to leave that might open it up for you, might make it more tolerable. <laughs> if not, get on the job boards, get into your network find out who's hiring, check your company, make sure that people are doing what they say they're doing, that they're on the up and up. Because I know one of the things that will hold you back is at least I know how bad it is here. Why would I go over there? So shift your mindset. Okay, if this is a relationship for you, this is the love story oracle. Oh, no, that was right side up. Control. Ooh, yeah. Somebody might be controlling you. And look at that. There is somebody, and I am so sorry if it's you, who um, someone is physically holding you back, harming you. That's not okay. That is never okay. If you need permission, there it is. Oh, look, more sunflower energy. <laughs> Maturity, which that goes right along with the King of Pentacles. Um, maturity can be, it's mostly mental and emotional maturity. 
So whether that's yourself or someone else, that's that's the remedy here to get this king right side up. Spy, someone spying. Yep, for sure. And healing. So this is an opportunity for you to heal, for you to say enough is enough in whatever situation this is. I have had enough. I'm done with this. It's time for me to heal. I'm going to take back control of my own life because I freaking deserve it. Now, if you're trying to control a situation, let that go. Let that go. If you're the one that's doing the spying, let that go. Nothing good is going to come of it. Nothing. Nothing good's going to come of that. Let that go. Mature. <laughs> yep. Mature. So very much opposing energies here with the lovers. I'm not surprised because that's opposing energy as well. All right. Let's grab one more card here or however many want to come out from the Heal Yourself deck. All right, hold on. We've got self-love once again, confirming everything <laughs> that has already been said. I love it. I'm here for it. Self-love. Have faith. Yep. Have faith in those miracles that are coming in, this prosperity that's waiting for you as soon as you decide. Victim consciousness. So there is 100% a dividing line here <laughs> of this is what's in the past and what needs to be released and what is here to be embraced. I love when spirit does that. So under the full moon, I'm sorry. Well, okay. I was going to go chronologically, but here we go. Under the full moon, let that shit go. In the new moon, and I know chronologically we're flipped, but um, definitely before the new moon, let all that go. And in the new moon, manifest this. Take your action steps. Put that skin in the game that shows the universe you're not just making empty wishes, kind of like empty promises. You are willing, ready, and able to set foot into this new life that is just craving for you to come in. Oh, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Okay. I don't feel like I need to pull anything specifically around career because we kind of already talked about that. So there's your overall September reading, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to dive deeper into this energy or your own personal reading, all of my information is in the description box below. Um, I hope that September is full of all the good stuff. All you have to do is take that first step towards it and the universe will catch you. Take that leap of faith. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.